Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn rotoscoping in Adobe After Effects. So guys, for start a rotoscoping video, first of all, I'm creating one composition. I'm just naming it Roto. Okay. So guys, now next step is to import my footage. Uh, my footage is in uh, input and here is a video. In the video, I'm just selecting one footage. This is my footage. Just drag and drop. Okay, fine. Now it is. I'm just have to fit on screen. Now shortcut is Control Alt Alt F, so it will be fit on your composition. Now, guys, what is a rotoscoping? So rotoscoping is generally the process of using hand-drawn mask or a pen stroke to selected or a clone footage over a time. Roto is mostly used to relocate or remove an element in a scene in a cases where there is a no way to get the computer to do it automatically. So in some cases you have to remove some object or some things from your footage. So at that time rotoscoping is very useful. For example, you want to type something behind this lady. Now it is not possible because it is a live footage. Okay, so for that, first of all, you have to mask this lady and then you can type a text behind this lady. But that is very hectic process. For example, I'm doing it. I'm just selecting one pen tool and I'm just start this. Now, first of all, you have to be careful. You have to do a proper masking around this lady. Okay. So guys, this the mask is done. These are roughly give you idea that how you can remove this lady from your background. So you can uh, add something be behind this footage. So this is a very hectic process because now if this lady is moving, uh, for example, if I'm pressing space, you can see this lady is moving. Now you have to do a frame by frame animation to adjust this mask. And this is a very hectic process. And in some cases, it's very difficult to animate the mask. So the second way is to rotoscoping so i'm just removing this mask from my footage and now we are going to use a rotoscoping so how you can use a rotoscoping just double click on this footage okay <clears throat> so now we can use a rotoscoping now to use a roto we have a roto brush tool okay a shortcut for this is alter plus w so you can directly use a roto brush tool just click on this roto brush tool and now you can see this is roto brush tool now to increase or decrease the size you can press ctrl and with the mouse click you can increase or decrease the size of this roto brush tool for now i am just putting like this and now just move around this footage okay just click from your mouse and just move around this footage and by using the artificial intelligence it will be automatically selected the age of this footage so it is a fantastic way to rotoscoping any footage or any video, any object. You can also roto these fruits from this footage. Okay, like this. Now in some cases, there is not proper rotoscoping. As you can see, our age is come inside this lady. So what we can do, if we can press alter, you can press alter to deselect these edges. Okay, now the, my edges is come outside this part. So I'm just press minus. First of all, I'm just decrease the size so I can easily select this. Okay, and now just press minus. See, it will become very nicely. See, this thumb is not inside this rotoscoping. So I'm just selecting this thumb and it will be automatically inside this rotoscoping footage. So done. Now, by a page down, you can do a frame by frame animation, just frame by frame change. So it will be automatically selected a roto area. So this all will be done by the artificial intelligence. It will take some time because we have a high resolution video. That's why it's taking some time. See? 
so you don't have to do a frame by frame animation which we are going to done in a mask here it will be done automatically So guys, we are just doing till here. Okay, I'm just ending my composition to this path. Okay, so my rotoscoping is done. I'm just move back to my composition. As here you can see, our roto is done. Okay, I'm just duplicating it or you can just again take it from your footage. Okay, as you can see. Now what you can do, you can just text in between this layer. So guys, now I'm just adding one text. Okay and just name it good morning fine just scale this or you can just increase size from here okay so now if i want to put this text behind this lady i'm just put in between these layers because my this layer was a rotoscoping layer okay and this is my original footage so now this uh, footage is act like this is text behind this footage I'm just uh, animate this okay from this position it will be here and from the last frame it will be here like this see So guys, this kind of effect you can create using a roto brush tool. You can remove any object you don't want in your footage or you can also roto any actor or a model and you can add a text behind that. Okay, thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.